In a state known as the last frontier, there's no easy way to reach a glacier on foot. For climate researcher Brian Brettschneider, though, it's become an increasingly important part of his work. Below us, the stunning sight of the Portage Glacier, a vast structure of ice and rock that's been here for tens of thousands of years. In recent decades, this and other glaciers in the region are melting at an alarming rate. We're used to thinking about things changing over time spans that are longer than human lifetimes. But when you come back here year after year, you notice with your own eyes, not with any kind of fancy equipment, but you notice how much it's changing. It's really dramatic and it really causes you to think about, you know, where we're at and where we're going and what we can do about it. Archival images show the rate of change. A transformation researchers say is driven by rising global temperatures. One startling example of just how far and how fast this glacier has gone is perhaps this building. It was constructed in 1986 for one reason alone, and that was to give tourists a direct view at the face of the glacier. But if you look out here now, all you see is water. And to get to the glacier, it's a half hour long boat trip. The Ptarmigan cruise ship has been taking tourists out to the glacier for decades, and deckhand David Mazak joined the crew in 1997. He tells us back then the Portage Glacier was very different. Giant spires of ice, they shot up like fingers, and they went up over 130 feet into the air. And uh, on the sides of the glacier, you had huge monoliths of ice, like big walls of ice, and they would come crashing down like this. Many of the tourists that take the cruise are aware glaciers are disappearing. For those who have traveled far to see one of Alaska's most iconic sites, there's a sense that this might be their last chance. It does make me sad because I enjoy nature and um, we've got to pass on the best we can to our children and if it's yeah. wasting away like this then they won't have anything to enjoy or take part in. Or... Yeah, he showed us a picture a while ago, I think it was 1914. And the lake was just like right big there. Lake. And now look how big it is. It looks like it's like 100 times bigger. So, yeah, something's going on. Researchers say the effects of global climate change can be reversed, giving glaciers the chance to slowly recover. But time is running out. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Portage Valley, Alaska.